Hello, Etif. I'm Dr. Fox. Today, I'm talking about the stages of pregnancy. Once a baby is developing inside your womb or uterus, they have officially entered the first stage of pregnancy. The average pregnancy has been calculated as 40 weeks, which is just over 9 months when taking the time between your last menstruation and actually giving birth. During pregnancy, you will get used to your medical professionals referring to three stages of pregnancy, known as trimesters. Let's talk about guidance on each of the trimesters. First trimester, or first three months. Conception occurs when a woman's egg is penetrated by sperm as a result of unprotected sex. Also known as a zygote, the fertilized egg proceeds along the fallopian tube until it reaches the uterus and implants into the uterine wall. A cluster of cells make up the zygote, which later becomes a fetus and placenta. The placenta is crucial for connecting the fetus with the mother so that the baby can receive vital nutrients and also oxygen. As the first trimester progresses, women experience numerous changes. Indeed, almost all bodily organs are affected by being pregnant thanks to hormones, with many signs becoming clear even in the first few weeks and possibly before the woman is aware. Some involve exhaustion, sensitive and swollen breasts together with part nipples, stomach cramps and upset, also known as morning sickness but still possible without vomiting, desires and also going off certain foods, headaches, heartburn, weight gain or loss, mood swings, constipation, urinating more regularly, and so on. With your body undergoing a transformation, you may have to change certain daily habits, especially related to your diet. As difficult as this can be, the symptoms will worsen as your pregnancy progresses past the first trimesters. Plus, all women have a different experience, and some who have already been through a pregnancy find they hardly notice at all. Second trimester or second three months. Usually, this turns out to be a more stable and less challenging time. Many of those hormones calm down and there are less complications, though it remains important to keep in touch with your medical professionals. Tiredness and nausea may disappear during this time, though you will notice the first signs of your physical change. Having a baby will mean your abdominal growing and you're likely to feel it start moving during the second trimester. Other changes might include various acne especially to the back and groin, but also to the sides and abdomen. Stretch mark forming, certainly to your abdomen, but also breast, buttocks and sides. Darker nipples, as well as darker skin to cheeks, nose, forehead and upper lip. A skin line leading from your pubic hairline to your belly bottom. Carpal tunnel syndrome, which can mean hands that are numb or tingle. Itching on your abdomen, palms, and soles of feet, ankle and finger swelling, as well as to the face. For any more extreme syndromes such as nausea, vomiting, jaundice, or appetite loss, consult a doctor, especially if combined with itching or swelling, as possibilities can include preeclampsia and liver problems. Last third trimester or last three months. Now you are nearly at the end. Some symptoms of being bigger that you are now familiar with will inevitably increase. Urinating will become more frequent and you may also find yourself short of breath. The bigger your baby gets, the more pressure it places on your bodily functions. But this does not mean that anything is wrong and those symptoms will start to leave upon giving birth. Additional symptoms you may experience include shortness of breath, heart bomb, uncle and finger swelling as well as to the face, a sticking out belly bottom, hemorrhoids, sensitive breasts that possibly leak colostrum, a watery pre-milk, insomnia, contractions as forced labor can also occur, 
a baby moving lower in your abdomen or dropping. Your cervix softens as your due date approaches, known as effacing. This is what the body needs to do so that the birth canal can open for actually giving birth. Medical professionals will carry out a vaginal exam as your due date approaches and you are very close to holding that baby in your arm.